Thank you, Aaron. 632 in this morning. The 7 Eyewitness News I team is working to find out what's being done about a potentially serious problem inside Erie County's holding center. The I team has uncovered several sheriff's deputies working at the holding center were caught sleeping on the job while crimes happened inside the facility on their watch. All new for you this morning, the I team's chief investigator Charlie Specht is now uncovering how those deputies are being held accountable. Serious incidents like assaults, sex offenses, and deaths happened more than 400 times in the Erie County Holding Center in 2019. But while state data show these reportable incidents happened more than once per day on average, some Erie County Sheriff's deputies were not awake to see them. That's because instead of being on a high alert in a jail that's had plenty of high profile problems over the years, these deputies were sleeping on the job. Internal disciplinary records obtained by the 7 Eyewitness News I team show that from 2018 to 2020, three sheriff's deputies were cited for sleeping on duty in the Erie County Holding Center in downtown Buffalo. And a corrections officer was cited for sleeping on duty at the county's correctional facility in Alden. There were multiple repeat offenses, but none of the misconduct cost the deputies their jobs. It's very concerning. Tom Beeline is the former chairman of the State Commission of Correction, which regulates county jails. You're talking about the health, safety, and security of uh, the whole facility. Deputy Salvatore Vaccaro has been caught sleeping on the job multiple times. Vaccaro first received a letter of reprimand after failing to perform his rounds in April 2019. But just three months later, officials say he violated six more sheriff's office policies, including unbecoming conduct, violation of rules, and sleeping on duty. During his disciplinary hearing, Vaccaro told investigators that, quote, because of his inability to get enough rest before his shift, due to circumstances outside of his control, he had difficulty staying alert during his shift. Supervisors suspended Vaccaro without pay for five days. But in September of that year, he was again cited for sleeping on duty and was fired, but then reinstated after his union filed a grievance. In a written statement, Jail Superintendent Thomas Dina said, quote, the Jail Management Division follows the principles of progressive discipline in accordance with policy and current collective bargaining agreements. While at times we are able to arrive at a mutually agreeable and appropriate disciplinary sanction with said labor unions, there are instances when we cannot. Disciplinary sanctions are subject to arbitration, so we strive to impose same in a matter that is likely to withstand the review and scrutiny of an arbitrator. Police agencies are required to notify the State Department of Criminal Justice Services each time a reportable incident occurs in a county jail. Those include assaults, sex offenses, deaths, fires, escapes, hospitalizations of inmates, and outbreaks of contagious illnesses. In 2019, state officials say there were 416 reportable incidents in the Erie County Holding Center and 103 reportable incidents in the county correctional facility in Alden. So, so it puts the whole facility uh, in a safety awareness uh, situation where the safety of the facility is actually jeopardized. Deputy Vaccaro makes $60,000 per year. Neither he nor the president of his union got back to us when re we reached out seeking his comment. Okay, so Charlie, we've got a couple of questions for you. I guess the first and chief among them is how widespread of a problem is this actually? And this was not the only case here of a sheriff's deputy that, that we found sleeping on the job on our website right now and on 7 Eyewitness News. At 6 p.m., we will bring you another case where a deputy was found multiple times sleeping on the job, and he kept that job, still remains employed by the sheriff's office. Okay, Charlie, we'll see you tonight at 6 then, and of course on WKBW.com. Charlie Specht for us. Charlie, thank you.